Hello. Hi, welcome to the CSS course. So in the previous section that we have discussed, especially how that we can apply something hovering effects to images and at the same time buttons also. And after that, we even applied additional things with a grid layout in creating a landing page, a simple pricing table. In this concept, we have discussed setting up how to create a group of columns with a simple concept called grid concept. Now, a new concept now we are going to discuss, which is BEM in CSS. BEM concept in CSS. Okay. Now, what is BEM? What is the usage? And how it works? Let's discuss in this section. So let me even write some statements. I'm just creating a BEM notes, a txt file. The first question is, what is BEM? BEM stands for block element and modifier. It is a naming, it is a naming convention. For CSS class names. So when you are working on a larger applications, you will be having too many number of style sheets and that to each and every style sheet can have n number of lines with n number of different class names and id names and holding the properties and when a group of people working on a particular project we don't know which developer or a programmer or a designer have given a particular name in that case, we might write the same name in somewhere else and that might conflict that style sheets. Overwrite that style sheets. So to overcome the concept of conflicting in CSS, the style sheets, we use the concept of BEM, block element modifier, which is nothing but we can say a naming convention for CSS class names especially. So here we can say some benefits. Benefits of BEM.
the concept of benefit or the advantage or benefit of BM is it is a component. Structure. And it is a sets sets a consistent low level of specificity for tiling selectors. Benefits of BEM, I'm just saying one of the statement. It is a component structure. The another one sets a consistent low level of specificity for styling selectors. Same way that we can say advantages. Of BEM. It is easy to maintain. Then the class names are logical and intuitive. The meaning depends upon the concept wise that you will be writing the class name. Apart with this, it eliminates nested CSS selectors. These are the some of the advantages that we can say. We even have disadvantages when we are discussing about a particular concept, we will be giving preference. What is that concept? How it is going to be used? Where it is going to be used? That usage of that concept at the same time, where that lacking behind also. No concept will give all the points. So here we even adding a statement disadvantages also. Do not go too deep. I mean, we can't make it a deeper class names. And we can say the main rule should not use more than to levels of parent, that is one. More than two levels means parent, child, grandchild, that's it. Not more than that, that is the meaning of this statement. And it avoids stress keyword one of these we can say at the rate of symbol extend these are the some of the disadvantages that we can say then what exactly that terms or the letters p e and M C B stands for block. B stands for block. C parent element of B. Component is 
defined as a block. B stands for block. The parent element of the component is defined as a block. Then E stands for element. It is inside of the component may be one or more children called elements. So the first one, clearly we are saying that the parent element, like we can say do. Example, I am saying that. The parent element of the component is defined as a block. Whereas element, it is an inside of the component. Maybe one or more children called elements. And then M stands for modifier. Either a block or element may have a variations signed by a modifier. So either a block or else an element may have the very different variations which are signed by the modifier. Syntax that to get an idea how that you can write. Any block name, any element name, any modifier name, but the syntax is. Block underscore underscore two underscores and then write element hyphen hyphen then square bracket make it modifier okay block connectivity from block to element is two underscores after that element to modifier hyphens you can't make it directly okay you can also make it directly block modifier also but that is not preferred that is not recommended a main a box effect inside this an element can have a modifier a variations so now let's discuss a simple examples here to get a more clarity and we will just create a simple coding part also. So now let me write here. So BM methodology. So the BEM explains the writing class names uniquely and logically u n i q u e l y the bm explains the writing the class names uniquely and logically here a representation of block as discussed b stands for block the parent element of a component is defined as a block 
So examples that you can see. Dot. Content. It is a block class name. Whereas. Menu. Right, a content can have group of articles with headings, subheadings, paragraphs, right? And maybe anchor elements or buttons or input elements can have some functionalities that we can say modifiers. Whereas menu, menu, menu item, sorry, menu bar, menu items, menu links. And even the same way, search form. This is an this are some of the examples to get an idea. What is a block? That is how to write the class names I am writing. So let's write. Class names. Examples. Whereas. Concept wise. An example that how can you use? You can write header. Container. Menu. Search like this. So header header can have logo and top navigation. Container can have group of sections. Menu menu bar with menu items. Search search box search fun, search input element search icon or, or search button like this. I'm saying that. Then element here the class names how you can write so whatever we have given here the concept this is a class name of course here and when it comes to the element content underscore underscore article then menu underscore underscore item whereas search a form inside this you can set input element that's what we can say the concept wise we can write here. Like we can say menu and score I the menu and score and score item. Or we can say OK, not the concept menu item. List. Item. Header. And. Header title. Like this that we can say examples. Concept wise. And then when it comes to the modifier. You can write. OK. Content. Underscore underscore article. To this article saying that it is a featured article. Showing it is a special article. The same way. Menu underscore underscore item to this can have a link. In the same way, search underscore underscore input, sorry, search hyphen form underscore underscore input. For that input, you can write icon effect. And the concepts that you can write here. Like we can say. Disabled. Check. Highlight. Like this. OK. So this is how. The BM works and what is the concept of BM overall we are just seeing. Now. Let's implement a sample example to get a clarity how that we can write. So I'm just creating. 
index.html file the root directory which we have created bm concept and then additionally write styles.css and index.html file create a html file saying that bem in css and then link sorry link then right here styles dot css now you even can also start from the body saying that body hyphen page this is a class additional to this now observe b hyphen page it is a content we can say it is a block and to the element then you can start with div write a class b hyphen page underscore underscore body hyphen i just indexing or of course there is no special meaning you can also write body hyphen p body hyphen b whatever it is okay inside this let's write some contents so okay before that we are eager to see something else styling how to write here you can write b hyphen page it's a class name dot b hyphen page just set the color f9 f9 something else whereas dot b hyphen page underscore underscore body right now underscore underscore body so for this i am just planning to set background color make it the something c e c e c e then let's just check it out so far what we have first okay it will apply of course there is no problem only thing is you have to get a clarity how to write the class names naming conventions that's the reason we're pointing here especially how to write the normal class and how to write that naming convention class we can say bm then inside this Div class head. For us, let it by box i hyphen b. And we even can also write box underscore underscore j s underscore initiated. Here the class names are not important how you are writing the way where the underscore concepts that is naming conventions get making the programmer at the same time giving a clear information to the css parser or we can say browsers 
these are unique names and logically writing. It is a head, a box in BM concept, and it even instantiated the functionality. Like this, we can say. Inside this, the write view class, a simple first a layout, and inside the layout, you can set the block name underscore underscore element concept. In the same way, the block name underscore underscore element concept. So, okay, it is a main page that we have given. This is head part. Once we are done head part, and we start with body part, or we can see the group of items. So, okay, I am just writing here div, saying that the class b hyphen page underscore underscore content area. Inside this, you even can also not only divs, you even can also write the class names, the naming conventions for any selector. So right here, first it is a block. Products is a block. Inside this products, you're setting, let's write a class, products underscore underscore item. Additionally, if you have anything. So you can have a combination and normal or regular classes at the same time, naming convention classes also. That's the reason we are writing both of these. It's a block and it's an element. Additionally, inside this, right? The class. Products underscore underscore ID. Okay, let me just try just to get an idea. Apple, iPhone, something else heading. First, for an image, that is, I plan to show you clearly each and every element to the maximum div elements. Li elements, heading elements, and even images. Image, SRC, the class, products underscore underscore image. And additionally, just write a span the class as it is a concept of pricing. So products and score and scores price. Inside this, if you have an anchor element, then look at something else. Write a class. Products underscore underscore price, or we can say products underscore underscore. Okay, products underscore underscore price hyphen hyphen link a modifier. That is how to write the way I'm writing here an example. Okay, so like this, that you can just write even okay. There is one more that we can write here. Pan class products underscore underscore cart. Then the 
white here. Products underscore underscore cart, and we can say add to cart. So the point in this concept how to write the naming conventions, the class names, elements. So if it is a content oriented, if it is a block, then that is a box of a particular concept like as we have given here UL as a class with the products inside that. It is an element, one of the item. And inside that we have somewhere else the modifiers where it can do some actions part. This is how that you can implement the concept of BEM. So be habituated to make it in all the examples or concepts and create the appearance of website with concept of BEM from the beginning onwards. That's Thank you so much.